Um, so yeah, this guy is saying that uh, Wuthering Waste fans are ungrateful. So I'm just saying, Zeus, if someone paid you fifty dollars to use Tide Knee Jerk Mind's Eye and Rank, would you do it? Yes, yes, I would. What are we watching? So um, Kaza Kazahana made a video saying that Wuthering Waste fans are becoming ungrateful. Now, this is mainly referencing the 30 million download rewards, but I don't know if ungrateful is the correct term. So, I don't know, we're, we're gonna have to find out. I like their model, yeah, I think this look, this is like a Chainsaw Man model, I don't know, for, I think. Hi, either. Hi, Asher. So, yeah, let me know how the volume is, and remember, guys, we're respectful here at Zeus Identity V Incorporated. Remember, guys, we're respectful. So, yeah. Wuthering Waves has a big community issue at the moment. Now, you may be wondering why. Like, everything seems to be going so good in Wuthering Waves. And I know I make a lot of videos saying there's a huge problem or there's a huge issue. But again, this is an issue that I really wanted to talk about because it seems like a lot of people are getting quite ungrateful in this game. So, in uh -huh. this video, we're going to be going through everything you need to know about some new rewards that we've gotten in the mail recently. Type and shit. why this is actually a bad thing for the community. So, before the video begins, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also go over to Gamer Subs and use my code Kaza because there are. Yeah. Yeah, do that. And wifey cubs out there that I'm sure you'll love. Anyways, let's get into the video. So just yesterday on the day of recording, Wuthering Waves released a tweet saying, Wuthering Waves has reached an astounding milestone of 30 million downloads worldwide. Mm -hmm. Such an incredible achievement is only made possible by the support from all of you. And yeah, that is absolutely amazing. 30 million downloads worldwide kind of proves yeah. how massive Wuthering Waves has, you know, hit the market. And obviously this number is going to go up even more. So again, that is super, super nice for Wuthering Damn. Waves. And they continue to say, we'll keep in constant efforts to improve Wuthering Waves and an exciting new adventure is on the horizon. Maybe they're hinting at some massive update that's coming up in the future. I mean, that's going to be super amazing if they do. And then they've put here, repost to win Lustrous Tide 10. 10 winners will be chosen. And you know, people were super happy with this. People are reposting it. They're like, hey, you can get some free wishes just by reposting. That's pretty good. And, you know, and most people were happy with that. But at the same time, there was a lot of people, especially in the Chinese community, that were not happy with this at all. And the tweet that followed this tweet says, we have received your feedback and decided to send players across all servers a gift of Lustrous Tide 10 and Crystal Solvent 5 via in-game mail. We're sincerely yeah. grateful for your continued support and would like to extend our thanks to all of you once again. Now, again, this is a super weird decision because just a minute ago, they said they're going to hand it out to 10 people that reposted their post but it seems like they've backed down from the decision which is actually a community-based thing now there has been a lot of people in the comments of this tweet and also in comment sections other places saying hey this isn't good enough like we want better rewards we want everyone to get these rewards rather than just 10 winners it's not fair i want to win kind of thing like that and it just seems like a lot of people are kind of acting spoiled whenever we've been given so much by Kuro games now um okay i can see the point right I, I get it, you know, like they were making the effort, but there's a huge difference between just doing like a giveaway and then saying, yeah, the global scale for 10 banner polls, like not even limited banners, standard banner polls, right? 30 million people downloaded your game and you're only going to give it to 10 people out of the third like it wasn't those 10 people that made your game like it's, it's a global thing everyone played your game so it's like you can't i don't see that that can't be ungrateful i don't see that as ungrateful like i would be fucking livid if i downloaded a game me me of all people i was out here fucking i'm promoting this game in idv communities talking about download this fucking game because of how good it is and they're talking and they're doing this shit they're they're pulling this hoyoverse they pulling this Hoyover shit, talking about get a chance to win 10 free standard polls to only 10 people out of the 30 million people that downloaded that. That's less than like half of a percent. I'd say even less than a tenth of a percent chance for that happening, for you to be the winner of that shit. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't see that as ungrateful, not in the slightest, no. No. Of course, you can expect to be given rewards and stuff in the future, but I really think whining and crying about the fact that only 10 people get 10 lustrous tied is just kind of stupid, especially whenever they haven't actually done anything wrong. In the past, you know that Wuthering Waste has handed out free rewards and free pools and free crystal solvents because they've messed up in some way, whether that be a bug 
whether that be accidentally leaking information of, of accounts but this they're literally just saying thank you for 30 million downloads and then you're going hey where's our pools man it feels yes because it's not 10 people that downloaded the game 30 million times it's 30 million different people what why do only 10 people out of 30 million get the reward for 30 million downloads that doesn't make sense they're not the only people playing the game like that 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 that's an idiotic argument like that 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 just doesn't make any sense you imagine if identity v said that for six years they're gonna give every they're gonna they're they're gonna give out an s tier unlock card but it's only gonna be the six people could, could you well it, w would we be ungrateful for that if they said here we're gonna get an s unlock but it's only gonna be for six people for six years that's an identity v move yeah honestly yeah <laughs> The diff is that IDV wouldn't even do anything true. They would give a three day B tier to six people. <laughs> For six years. <laughs> so that's like, no, I can't, I can't call that. A, I can't call that ungrateful. Thanks for downloading our game 30 million times. Now only 10 people get full 60 primo gems to three people. Genshin Impact will give you guys some meat and mint. That's your anniversary reward. IDV will go fucking three day B tier accessory trials. Three day B tier accessory trials, insane. So, so bad just to be asking them for all of these pools whenever they're trying to celebrate an achievement. You know, I could totally get why people be super, super angry if uh -huh. it was like 10 winners and this was supposed to be some kind of sorry to people, but this isn't. They're trying to celebrate and they can celebrate it however they like. But it seems like a lot. When you celebrate, when you celebrate, you don't celebrate to only a fraction of the community that makes your shit a reality that's like me me with my channel if i were to celebrate hitting like 10,000 subs but i only let like members of the channel like have the stream like that's like if i made a members only stream for 10,000 subs and it's oh and that's the stream that i'm celebrating with that's not fair to the viewers who aren't members like they're just as much as viewers as well like you guys still support me the same way like the way the members do taxation before representation <laughs> <laughs> yup yeah uh honkai for yo honkai you logged in after seven days 20 pulls they gave out 10 pulls they gave like fucking 1600 jades over the course of four days they gave you trailblazer energy they gave you fucking resources honkai for the first two weeks of anniversary was take all of my shit like it was crazy Oh, throw tea in the reviews i'm crying a lot of people just don't really get that and i do know that weathering waves is a massive game now kuro games is also a massive company and that they can you know more than likely afford giving everyone another free temple but so why not do again, it the amount of free temples that we've gotten over the past couple weeks is actually insane like we've never seen any gacha game really do this at all and the amount of money that kuro games is losing on this is you know massive i know it's free just to hand out a wish but whenever you hand out temples like left right and center like this there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to be pulling on the banner because you know they don't need to spend anymore because they've gotten all of these wishes meaning i again i see the argument but it's one standard banner number two isn't it good that people now know that they're not required to spend on your game because now they know that would not would that not entice you to play more because now you know that you don't need to heavily spend money because you know the company is generous when it comes to shit that they mess up on. Uh, the game shouldn't be messing up on shit that frequently to give rewards. But wouldn't that entice you to play more? Wouldn't that bring more people to you? So that way then you overall in the long run will end up making more money? Like, that they, they don't lose. There, there's nothing negative about giving out the polls to everyone that Kuro Games loses money, meaning that the entire game loses money, and it's just like not very good overall. So the more that they keep handing out free wishes and being forced by the community to hand out wishes, the more money they lose. And honestly, this could affect the game in the future. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, adding a free temple is going to ruin the game, that this one instant is going to cause the downfall of Wuthering Waves. Of uh -huh. course not. But again, if they keep doing this and keep handing out free temples, 
across the lifespan of the game, then it's going to be really, really bad. Now, I like Tem. That's false. That's false. If a company is known, if a company is known to be generous to their player base and actually cares about their player base and cares about the game that they're working on, more people will be enticed to play the game because people that are playing the game know that the company cares. They, this literally, there will be no negative retention, no, nothing. Nobody's gonna look at Wuthering Waves and be like, "That's that game that gives out so many rewards to the player base to be grateful for what they did." Nobody's gonna do that shit. Nobody's doing that. Everyone's gonna look at it and be like, "Yo, Wuthering Waves is pretty generous with their player base, and you know they like to show their gratitude from time to time by giving awards to everyone instead of exclusively or through some like bullshit ass method." Like, yeah, I want to play this game. I want to support a company that is giving back to me, the consumer, you know? Temples as much as the next person, you know? I really like, you know, getting a free temple, spending it. I spent this one already. I got a four star, unfortunately. But again, if they do this... Is that Sonic Mania here? Game and keep is that Studiopolis? Many wishes, then people are just uh. not going to be spending to pool. They're just going to get all of these pools in. I know I keep calling them wishes. I'm sorry if I do. It's just kind of Genshin brain in my head. But they're going to get all of these... Genshin brain. It all makes sense. No, 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 no. Re repeat that one more time. Hold on. Repeat that. Then people are just not going to oh, be shit. spending to pool. They're just going to get all of these pools in. I know I keep calling them wishes. I'm sorry if I do. It's just kind of Genshin brain in my head. But it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Genshin. Genshin. They are not used to these rewards because they're a Genshin player. That's why. They're used to the mints and the single pull. And the raw meat. It all makes sense. The Genshin brain rot. Oh my god. The brain rot now makes sense. Yeah, that that's why they're so they're so lost. That's why when Genshin players come to Wuthering Waves, it's a breath of fresh air because they're like, "What is this generosity? C communication? Oh my god, no way!" They're gonna get all of these pools in and then not gonna spend on the game because there's no point as they've got so many pools already. And honestly, I think that, you know, not handing out anything until around 1.1 would actually be pretty good because it allows people to have a little bit of a break from all of these free rewards and allows, you know, Kuro Games to stop, you know, losing all of this money from handing out free pools because there's gonna be a lot of people that kind of want a character badly who lost their 50 50 or whatever, who are then gonna. But how does a game lose money? Like, they lose money in the moment, sure. But in the long run, they still gain more money. I don't know. Like, I don't like the argument of they're giving free pulls bad because they're losing money. They're losing money in the moment, sure, because they're giving away a free 10 pull to everyone. Yeah, when a 10 pull, like, in game is, like, fucking, like, 20 bucks. Okay, obviously, yeah. But it's, like... But it's, like... In the long run, you're still gaining more players who are going to spend money anyway. Game that gives people rewards versus game that people review bombed and boycotted because the rewards were so bad. <laughs> like, uh, like, I don't know. I just don't like that argument that is bad That because it doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, in the moment, sure, business perspective, it's like, yeah, you lose money in the shorter, in the shorter end of the stick. But in the long run, you're overall gaining more players, which means at the end of the road, you're overall going to have more money compared to it it's literally like an investment you're investing by giving your players free pulls and losing out on something now for it to come back to you tenfold pun intended later to spend money on getting currency and i will give it to the community here it is head and lustrous tide meaning that it's for the standard banner it's not as bad as handing out radiant which is for the limited banner so again handing this out isn't awful so it's not the end of the world but again it's still not great and i just feel kind of bad for pro games here because we're like acting like a bunch of ungrateful children that, that say oh we don't all get pools like it's it's so weird and you just don't really see this with any other game i mean yes there's a lot of games out there that, you know, don't really give out pools or whatever. And you're like super justified to be saying, hey, where's our pools? I mean, Genshin Impact is a big example of <laughs> people that, you know, don't really get enough pools or yeah. enough wishes or enough whatever. And people complain about it. And that's totally justified. But with Wuthering Waves, they've given us so much already that it's just a bit like, come on, man. 
give, give them a break. Give them a little bit of a break because I'm sure that Kuro Games will hand out a ton of free pools in the future. And it's not like this is going to be the last one ever. So I'm sure we're going to see more, especially whenever the updates come out and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't think adding these extra 10 pools in just for celebrating a milestone is extremely necessary. I know. It what do you mean celebrating? What do you mean that's not necessary for a set? That 30 million downloads? That's not a milestone that we should be separating? I said separating. Celebrating? Jesus fucking Christ, I can't talk. Bro. 30 million downloads like for a gacha game that came out not even a month ago that is a fucking huge milestone that's like me that's like me saying if i were to hit 20k i'm not celebrating because it's not a it's not 100k you know like that doesn't make sense that's still a milestone that's still massive like let's use logic here like 30 million downloads that is a milestone that is very big for this game especially that it hasn't even been a month since release it might be a little bit of a hot take because i know all of you like a few pools here and there and yeah don't get me wrong i like them too but again for the longevity of the game i think that handing them out is a little bit of a misplay here and you know we should probably be doing better rather than whining about pools and then if we go over to the they're whining about pools though because again it's not 10 people that are playing the game it's 30 million it's not that 10 people shouldn't be getting the rewards for the efforts of 30 million or what is it for the efforts of the other 29 million 900 for the other 29 million 900 thousand 990 people you know no weathering waves turns a month in like a week and a half or so this post here on r slash gadget gaming i mean oh my god fucking reddit oh okay what do the redditors have to say yeah, we're gonna be talking about them a lot in the future i've probably got a whole video planned for r slash gadget gaming it is the worst community ever that so we can again, agree on i don't really want to be on here as much as i can but yeah this post pretty much shows a lot of the comments from china and i'm pretty sure this is on billy billy and they said i did some calculations and it's fine once they hit 90 trillion downloads 30 million players can get the reward everyone helps spread the reward. i'm crying so again, they're just moaning about like how many rewards they're getting and as they should be as they should be and you can see here, they've got a Farina profile picture, it looks like. I think that's Farina. So, you know, a lot of these are Genshin players who are mad at, like, the rewards. I mean, if you come over from Genshin, you know how bad it is compared to Wuthering Waves. So why are you complaining about this kind of stuff? And, yeah, it just keeps going down. It says... Hold on. Players who are mad at, like, the rewards. I mean, if you come over from Genshin, you know how bad it is compared to Wuthering Waves. So why are you complaining about this kind of stuff? And so because genshin is worse we should be okay with wuthering waves doing something bad because oh it's still not as bad as genshin which is the equivalent of comparing trash to garbage that doesn't that that doesn't make any sense what because genshin is worse it's okay that they did this shit so restrictively no it isn't it, 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 no. No, it isn't. That doesn't make any damn sense. I'm sorry. That, that makes zero fucking sense. Because, again, I'm gonna say it for the third time. It's not 10, it's 30 mil. Why would, why should only 10 be rewarded for the efforts of the other 29 mil, 900,990? Doesn't make any sense. It never, it, it literally does not. Or is it like, you know what the fuck I meant, like 999,000, you know what the fuck I meant. 29,999,990. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't, like, the... <laughs> when I look at a land, when I look at a landfill and compare it to a garbage truck, yeah. And yeah, it just keeps going down, it says, You're a much more child, how humorous of you. Says, you really managed to screw up every possible thing at launch. Genius management. This one says uh, this guy went on a whole rant about uh -huh. how Gillen's damage is trash. It's harder to control compared to Gian. Yeah, for some reason that's the top comment. And yeah, there's a lot of people just in the Chinese community that aren't very happy with what's going on. Like I said, they're yeah. saying, hey, this isn't good enough. And again, it's just kind of like spoiled. I know the Chinese community can kind of act in that way, especially in the gacha gaming scene. But again, it's just super small and just super weird. Finally, there's also this other post which kind of proves how bad our slash gacha gaming is. And they said, Kuro Games has listened to the players' complaints and will give out temples for everyone. And now everyone in the comments, it's so bad. The comments are so bad. I don't even want to scroll down there. But how is that bad? They're celebrating that a company listened to them.
The reward is not meant for everyone or else it would have been sent through mail. It's a small gift. I'm, I'm not going to play into that. That's satire. That's satirical. You're trying to bait me. You're trying to bait me. I'm not falling for that. You're trying to bait me. You've been here a long time, Knight. You're trying to bait me. You've been here for a good while now. You're you're trying to bait me. I I I I'm win. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. Again, this got 1.1 upvotes, and that's you're not. You genuinely mean that that there, it's okay that it, it, you. So you genuinely think that that what the Wuthering Waves community is being spoiled it, it, is being is, uh, is are acting like spoiled brats over this. Hi, Ray. Really Hold on. But 10 for 30 mil sounds good to me. So you're okay with only 10 people getting 10 free pulls out of the 30 million player base. That's what you're telling me? For for the entire community, that's okay? 10 people getting 10 free pulls? That's it? Knowing damn well that you have less than half of a percent chance to get it? Yes, because they already gave enough, so it's fine. It doesn't. Why should 10 people get the rewards and reap the benefits of another 29,999,990 players. Can you tell me that? Can you explain this? to me why that makes sense? How about you buy the pulls for everybody? Since since you're since you're so good on pulls, since they gave you too many, how about you just buy them yourself? Buy them for everybody here. How about that? <laughs> Yo, bro, get out. Get go go go, go to the room. <laughs> go to the other room. That was not planned, chat. That was not planned. That was not planned. That was not planned in the slightest. It's not a gift. It's a celebration. Exactly. That's not a gift. They're celebrating. They're celebrating. It's a community-wide celebration. So you celebrate with the whole community. If I hit 10,000 subscribers, but I don't celebrate with my community, and I only select which people I want to celebrate with in my community, that's not a celebration. Because it's not only them that supported me, it's everyone in my community that supported me. Zeus, I'm going to dox you. I've already done that myself, so just look back in other streams. Imagine if you went to a twin's birthday and you only gifted one of them and you and you only gifted one of them even though it's both of their birthdays. Exactly. Sorry. Ten free pulls for a celebration. I think is. Uh, I think the game is generous enough to give us plenty. But it's. It. But it's not a celebration. That that isn't a celebration. Picking who gets the rewards of a celebration defeats the purpose of a celebration because a celebration is supposed to be for everyone. When a game is celebrating the anniversary, they don't pick which people are going to get the anniversary rewards when they are celebrating a like a seasonal event they don't pick which players get the rewards from the seasonal event it's not a celebration when you are restricting who gets the rewards it doesn't become a celebration when you do that Also, yeah, like, we could have gotten nothing. 
the rest of the player base would have gotten nothing out of 10 people. I'm so mean, I give up, you made me cry. Zeus Blondar- no. Boo, alright. I, I, I mean... I, I don't know, like... Zeus becomes an IDV scheme? No, because... Like, I don't get this. Yeah. So, you know, this is a pretty neutral post. They've literally just provided information. They haven't said anything about it. And they provided a screenshot. But a lot of the comments are, like, putting on their tinfoil hats saying that, like, Pro Games did this on purpose. You know, they're messing up on purpose to make it look better. It's, it's so weird. And there's a lot of, like, people, like, conspiracizing about, like, the fact that Oh, Kuro Games did this on purpose and that they've messed up everything on purpose. It's like, it's so weird. Bro, just play the game or don't play the game and stop trying to make up these random conspiracy theories on a game that you probably don't even play. So yeah, again, this is the whole situation that's going down. Let me know in the comments whether you think, you know, they should be handing out these pools or do you think they should- They should be handing it out. It's a celebration. Should be spacing out a little bit more so you know the longevity of the game is so much better but do you think the amount of money that Kuro games has made kind of you know warrants these kind of pools and that they're going to be fine in the future if they keep on doing that? that's about all i got for this video if you enjoyed it then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also go over to game and use my code kaza yeah that's all see ya it was a it is a chainsaw man model let's go i got it it is a power one yeah w i called it let's fucking go